Okay, class, today we're going to work on word problems involving money. We're going to start with a one-step word problem. And so we're going to look at this problem. It says, Marla bought a box of crayons that cost $6.95. She gave the cashier a $10 bill. What was her change? So the first thing we want to do is we are going to start by saying, what do we know? We always do this when we look at word problems. I encourage you actually to stop this video right now and try and solve this problem on your own and then come back and look at the ways that I show you that you can solve it because the best learning you can do is when you try it yourself and then look at mistakes that you made or look at what went well. So I highly recommend pausing, trying to figure it out, we're looking for the change. So she went and bought a box of crayons that cost $6.95. It's probably a big box of crayons. It seems like a lot of money. She gave the cashier a $10 bill. What was her change? So I know that she spent $6.95. She had $10 to start. So what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find her change. It's going to be some dollar amount. And I know we're dealing with money, so I'm going to have two places after that decimal. So I'm going to start by saying, all right, well, what would my equation be? If I had $10 and I gave away $6.95, I would have a subtraction problem. So I could either count up. I could say, well, if I add five cents, I'll get to $7. So plus 0 0.05. And then if I add $3, I would get to $10. And I could count up that way. And then this would be the amount that she got back. So she would get $3 and five cents change. I could do it that way. Or I could say, oh, $10 minus $6.95, and I could subtract it. Well, now I'm gonna have to let, do a lot of regrouping. So I could come all the way over here to this one, and it'll become a zero, and this becomes a 10, and then we can borrow from it, and this becomes a 10, and then we'll borrow from it, and then this becomes a 10, and we do, 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 9 is 0. Bring down our decimal. Remember that from our decimals lesson. And 9 minus 6 is 3. We would get $3.05. Here's one more strategy that I want you to see. Because this one might help some of you that are having some struggles with this type of subtraction. So if I have $10 and I'm subtracting $6.95... I can say, oh, minus 0 0.1. I'm sorry, 0 0.01, one cent. I could take one cent out of there, and I'm going to get $9.99. And I'm going to subtract $6.95. Now this, $9.99, is much easier to deal with than this $10 where I have to regroup everything. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 9 is 0. Bring down my decimal. 9 minus 6 is 3. Well, we subtracted 1, so now we need to add 1 penny back in. And if I add $3.04 and 1 cents, I get $3.05. So these are three ways that you can solve this one problem. These are just a bunch of different subtraction problems that you can use for when you're dealing with money. All right, let's look at the next one. Francine goes to the, to the grocery store and spends $31.79. She pays the cashier with a $50 bill. What will her change be? Again, we know that Francine spends $31.79. She has... $50. And we want to know her change. We 
we want to know how much change did she get back. Again, this is going to be a subtraction problem. And it's a one-stepper because we already know the information we need to know to find out the change. So I could just say $50 minus $31.79. I could stack it, $50 minus $31.79. I could take away that penny and make it $49.99. And then I could subtract $31.79. I could do 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 7 is 2. Uh, don't forget to bring down your decimal. 9 minus 1 is 8. And 4 minus 3 is 1. Now, the thing to remember is we have to add back in our penny. So we're going to add right down here. So we're going to add it right here. Plus 0 0.01. That's one penny. So if I add those together, I would get $18.21. Now, if I want to count up, I can do that as well. I could say, um, I'm kind of out of room here, $50 minus $31.79. Well, it's going to take one penny to get to um, 80 cents. And then from there, I would take 20 cents. So that's 21 cents. And then then would be at $32. It would take eight more dollars to get to $40. And then it would take another $10 to get to $50. And if I add all these up, then I'm going to find $50 minus $31.79. And if I add these up, I'm going to get $18.21. Exactly what we got over here. Um, I could do the regrouping. I could say $50 minus $31.79. And I could say, well, this is going to become a 4. This becomes a 10, but I'm going to borrow 1, so it becomes a 9. Again, this becomes a 10. I'm going to borrow 1, so it becomes a 9. And this becomes a 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 7 is 2. Bring down my decimal. 9 minus 1 is 8. And 4 minus 3 is 1. Again, we get $18.21. All three of these methods are really good methods for you to use when solving money problems or problems involving money. Um, you have to think about what are you trying to find out. And we wanted to know the change in both of these. So you have to think that's a subtraction problem. Or you could turn it into an addition problem, and you could say $31.79 plus some number equals $50, which is what you do when you're counting up, which is what we did here in the bottom left corner. All right, guys, that's how to find uh, how much change.